we're here at Europa Discus Center. It's one of the biggest and best high quality discus breeders in all of Europe. So many discus fish in here. Just like a whole rainbow of discus. What's he doing? The papa. Lots of work is done here. People made it even better, even bigger. How much total water is in all these systems? 50,000 liter. This scape is nice. awesome. It's really nice. Bonsai aus Japan. Wow, he's got bonsai. 300 years. I'm scared to touch this tree. I've never seen one with this shape. <laughs> this is a sign of fertility. Does it like help my fertility if I touch it? Everybody's. Yeah. Just give it a nice little tap. Yes. <laughs> What's up everyone? My name's George and today we're here at Europa Discus Center. This is one of the biggest and best high quality discus breeders in all of Europe. We're actually an hour outside the city of Frankfurt in Germany. The name of this small town is called Nackenheim. We're about to go meet the owner and master discus breeder Rudy inside. He's going to be giving us a private tour and teaching you guys about how to breed the biggest and best discus in the world. Let's go on in. Hello. Hello. We're here with Rudolf Wagner, the owner and master breeder of Europa Discus Center. You guys can see thousands of discus in the background. We're about to get into the tour. You don't speak any English? Sorry, I speak no so good English. What are you talking oh, about? You can't That's sorry. English. You can speak English. <laughs> Better than translate. We're going to make sure you practice your English today. Hello, guys. <laughs> His brother-in-law, Andreas, is going to be helping us translate. He works within the business as well. I'm doing the photography, the videography also, social media. I'm managing the whole site and also the shop. You were born in Uzbekistan. I've heard some really amazing things about this place. When did you move here and how long have you been a German citizen? 1985. Wagner, it's a German name. There were lots of Germans that followed the call of the Empress Katharina the Great to go to Russia so that they have land and everything. They wanted a new life. They moved back to Germany again. Where do we even begin? Tell us your secrets. What are you doing? <laughs> secrets. It started uh, very rough. He was breeding in the basement and then he needed to rent a bigger uh, location. We need to build a house so that he can always be with the fish. So that if something happens, then he can react immediately. What is the lifespan of a discus fish? Up to 15 years. That's a long time for a freshwater uh, fish. Yeah. How much total water is in all these systems? It's about 50,000 liter. This is a spider leopard. It's called spider web. How much are they worth? Between 600 and 800 euros. Yeah. Just one? Four pair. Are these the most expensive discus you have in the facility? Yeah. So okay. it's like after a certain point, discus just like, they kind of tap out. It depends. Um, with a good pair, you can earn more than 2,000. That is yeah. crazy. There's so much to get into with discus. How much is um, one baby? About uh, 40 euros. That's reasonable. Yeah. I can get one of those. Yeah. Yeah. So these are Rudy's most prized discus. The best quality you see here, these are his first selection for his breeding program. When the new breeding room is ready, he will start breeding with them. So it's just like a huge variety in here. How many discus fish are in here right now? <laughs> yeah, okay. You can count if you want, <laughs> you don't know. When you have so many discus, you don't count anymore. They're just like super colorful pancakes. I love them. They're so lovable. Are these discus fish okay in like an empty aquarium like this? Yeah, this is the most important part. If you keep them in small groups, they will always be stressed out and feel a little bit hunted. In a bigger group, they feel much safer. When you're keeping discus in a display tank, you always want to keep them in as big of a group as possible. You're saying the bigger, the better. Yeah. How old are these right here? Uh, three to four months. Three to four months? Yes. Yeah. And so are all the fish in the bottom row? Very young fish, yeah, uh, three to four months. Are these breeding pairs all on the top? Yeah. Gotcha. So how old are all of your adult discus pairs on the top? Uh, 12 uh, to 15 months, so very young. Yeah. Relatively young fish. Yeah. So these yellow ones, these are like a bright yellow. What are these called? Yellow snake skin. And the other one is uh, gold. Albino. These guys are the pigeons? Yes. Yeah, this one's more red than that one. Does that mean this yes. is a female? Female, yes. Gotcha. How do you know the difference between the male and the female then? When they are about one year old, then you can tell, okay, this is a male, this is a female, but about 80%. Parents, you never really know what your kid is going to be. Eventually yeah. you'll find out, but it's going to take longer than a year. Where do discus come from? The best quality fish is coming from Malaysia because they have the best conditions for breeding discus. Uh, they have the right temperature, the right water quality, perfect for discus. I think the most important fish in the discus community was the pigeon. When the pigeon came out, a red discus, we have a red strain, 
the first time that the discus showed that we can do something special with this fish, create colors that anybody has uh, ever seen before. A wild caught discus looks like brownish yellow. They're not like the pretty super colorful fish you're seeing in this facility right now. Basically the Malaysians took this fish, they started going absolutely crazy with the colors, yeah. and it's come full circle now back to Germany yeah. and the rest of the world where everyone's able to kind of access these super high quality colorful discus. The most important part of the discus is need to be big and round. And it's just the shape, it's the pattern, it's makes better. it worth more than the other one. Yes. Breeders all over the world kept improving the, the strain. Lots of work is done here. Um, mm -hmm. Lots of people uh, made it even better, even bigger. You would actually be willing to sell one of your pairs. He has always the best ones for himself. He has also discus he won't sell. This is uh, very thing skin. They can signal their color, that they're in stress or they're excited. Uh, here, for example, is a little bit uh, too much. Uh, don't like the camera. Get, Get off the property! Get out, guys. And this is a uh, mosaic leopard. Mosaic because of the interesting pattern, like some kind of swirls. How much is this worth, this pair? 400, 500. 4 to 500 euros. Yeah. This is red diamond. How much are those? Up to 800. We want to have as much red as possible. If you see one that is completely red, then it's most likely was fed with some coloring food. Yes. So is that the, the real sign of a good discus? Yeah. yeah. You're basically yeah. like big. There were it. big uh, discus championships. You cannot go there with coloring discus. You need to have a completely genetic coloring. We don't feed uh, with colored food here. Just for clarification, it's nothing bad. But for us, we try to breed with the discus. We try to improve completely genetic through the selective breeding. What is the name of that one in the back? This is a red melon. And this is the red valentine. So this is called a red melon? Yeah. And this is called a red valentine. He is um, trying to uh, breed the red melon with red valentine so that you have the best from both worlds. This is our red melon. That fish is yeah. crazy. I don't know if there are another species of fish in the aquarium hobby. Maybe koi, but not even koi. You don't get colors like that. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. These two are so big. So that's a tiger turquoise? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. It's kind of mesmerizing how beautiful these fish are. What are you, what's he doing? You look weird. The papa. They recognize <laughs> These guys? This is a uh, golden checkerboard. They're not shy. These ones are so playful. And these ones are so shy. Yeah. And this is why I think people like this, cause because they have their own character. Some of them are just a little bit more shy. How much are the golden checkerboards? The same price. Yeah. This is a blue snake skin. Blue snake skin. Yes. You're going from like the brightest orange color I've seen in a fish to like the most metallic blue. And they have very beautiful eyes, like dark red eyes. When they're starting to breed, the, the color of their eyes, they get more intensified, brighter red. These are beautiful. This is a little bit of a hybrid discus with uh, lots of uh, strains inside. I feel like I'm getting like an art tour. These are the cobalt blues. I love the cobalt blues. This is the uh, albino snake skin. It's very hard to breed albino. Need to have a foster parent. So far, you guys have been taken on a really fun, colorful journey. Now it turns a little bit darker. Basically, discus fish, well, they're not always very good parents. Some of them are good parents, some of them are bad parents. They can also eat the fry, also the eggs. The male will eat the, the eggs because he wants the female to lay eggs again. So it's their way to have sex. Classic male behavior. Yeah. Need to have a foster parent. Where he can put the discus love for the young ones from them to the other foster parents. The best way to find good pairs is when you keep them in a large group then it's possible to uh, naturally find pairs. When they find each other, they're harmonizing with each other. Sometimes you need to force breed them because you have a very good female and you like the, this one specific male. You try to mix them together, but then it doesn't work out because they don't understand each other. The discus fish that pair up naturally are gonna be the best pairs. Yeah. We're gonna actually feed the discus fish. What do you feed these guys to make them so happy and fat? Some of the discus breeders are feeding beef heart. Beef heart. Yeah, it's completely nonsense. When you feed everyday discus with beef heart, after one year, the liver will be bigger and yellowish. These kind of discus won't live that much. You want to have healthy discus? Give them what they would eat in the wild. Yeah. That is a lot of discus food. Everything here is a kind of mixture. In the wild, they eat very light food. It's fish, shrimps, clams or mussels. 
uh, plant-based food. They need a variety. Yeah, they need a whole variety so that the digestion will work properly. Hey, they look like you could kill someone with those. <laughs> this is our own discus granulate that we are producing here in Germany. These are pellets. Small pellets that can be eaten by small, but also some the bigger ones too. It's fish mix, shrimps, fish fillet, only food from the sea. Ah, smells natural. Yeah. 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 Easy to digest for the discus. No beef fat. Please don't feed your discus with beef fat. Wow, look at them swarm the food. I mean, you must feed a lot of food to all these guys. Rudy's being really nice, and he is gonna feed all of the discus fish in the facility for us right now. One day they eat quite a lot. One kilogram at least per day. Wow. At any given time, there can be between 2,000 and 4,000 discus in the facility. Maybe more. Like here, uh, these four boxes are going out to some customers in Germany. We pack them in the afternoon around 4 p.m. Now we picked up. Rudy! Wow! He's got bonsais from Japan. This is his second yeah. hobby now. So you are a koi guy. This is 300 years. They're 300 years yeah. old? Yeah, look, you can completely... See through it? Yes. Oh, oopsies. <laughs> I'm scared to touch this tree. Big dog. <laughs> this is the bonsai garden. We have a, a massive bonsai tree right over there. Apparently that one's 100 years old. This bonsai, I've never seen one with this shape. What is it? <laughs> What's going on? Erklär dir mal auf. Ich meine, das ist eine Bedeutung, ja? Das die Yeah, it has a meaning, a deep meaning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wenn du den hinten angreifst, da gibt er dir auch sehr viel Kraft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I cannot translate it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a phenomenal sh like yeah. length and everything. It's yeah. just, I think the viewers are going to have a lot of questions. Oh, they will have to make hose. But close to you. <laughs> oh no, I cannot. No. Uh, Japanese size of uh, fertility. Does it like help my fertility if I touch it? Everybody's. Yeah. So okay. You, <laughs> so just yeah. give it a nice little tap. Yes. And Good. you wish something. Yeah. And wish something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got it. That is very nice. Yeah. Again, <laughs> this view will make you question everything you thought you knew about the bonsai tree. Wow. Yeah. So is it worth more because of uh, yeah. the shape? Yeah. The longer, the better. It's like everything. Das ist der längste, was ich habe. Ich habe länger noch nicht gesehen. Reicht denn das nicht aus? <laughs> then this is the longest one that he gets. <laughs> okay. How many bonsais you got, Rudy? What's going on? Four, five, six more bonsais over here. This one is a little bit older. They can be up to 1,000 years if you like. That's a long time for a plant to be alive. If I get reincarnated, I, that's what I want to be. This is um, Japan Ao. Uh, maple leaf? Yeah, maple, yeah. yeah. Maple leaf. Yeah. yeah, you can see it almost looks like... Yes. How old is this one? 100 years. 100 years old? Yeah. With bonsais, you need someone who has been specially trained in the art of bonsai to come and maintain them. Do you have someone who comes and takes care of them? No. You take himself. care of it yourself? Yeah. Yes. That's his hobby. He really likes to do this, yeah. I want one. But what's going on? What are the cages for? This is for cockatoos. Cockatoos. Cockatoos, yeah. Yeah. Like the bird. Yeah. Yes. These are legit. Can you explain it? I have this already built, the food. Wow. Why cockatoos? So you've been breeding animals your whole life. Yeah. Spaß, das gibt mir Motivation. It motivates him and gives him uh, power. It gives him life and energy, yeah. 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 Nice. The best bonsai, which one is your favorite? Mein best. Maybe not the most expensive, but the prettiest. The prettiest. Yeah. This one's got flowers. Flowers, yes. I'm surprised that you don't breed koi. Did koi. you ever think about breeding koi? No, no, you would love koi. You are like yeah. already halfway there yeah. with the bonsai. Yeah, yeah. You just need to uh, fill up the pool with different kind of water and then you have koi. Better yet, take out the pool <laughs> yeah. and put in a pond. Yeah. So are these branches dead? Yeah. And you don't cut it? Yes. There's a meaning to this. The branches die off and the living ones uh, has them as support. So it's kind of like a hidden meaning. Yeah. The yeah. living ones are using the support of the old dead branches yeah. to keep growing. You have yeah. a massive yeah. tank in there. He wants to start salt water. Welcome to the dark side, yeah. my friend. <laughs> yes. Have you done salt water before? No, no, no. Never. If you need some help, he will call you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to be watching a lot of my videos, I think. <laughs> Hello. It's my vibe. Look at this tank. Dude, this scape is nice. awesome. It's really nice. So the filter's gonna be down here and you're just waiting to finish the breeding room before yes. you do this. Look at this, it's got capsule lights up here. 
He's like really all ready to go. He started with the salt water because he cannot see any discus at home. <laughs> he has enough discus there, so he wants to see something different. So this is why he started salt water. How does the family feel about the discus fish? More important question is how does your wife feel about yeah, the discus fish? I think it was Irina's yeah. idea that you start with yeah, discus. Uh, goldfish. Yeah, yeah I didn't like it at all. And she said to him, uh, maybe you put some discus there. So, uh, yeah, and then you're okay, wow. no problem. My, yeah. my Frau had yeah. You may be very inspired right now to want to keep one of these discus fish. Some discus keepers do a water change every day. What do you guys do when it comes to water changes? With this kind of system that we have, you don't need to massively water change. It's very simple. We have two sections. The first one, the debris, is landing inside of here on the bottom. If you look here, the whole debris is getting sucked in. This is the cleaning of the tank. This is it. We don't do anything to the tanks. This is all automatic. We also provide lots of oxygen to the filtration. The bacteria will get much stronger and you have a much better filter. So this is all like the biomedia. You can fill it up with sponge, with lava stone like here. The more surface you have, the better. And also don't forget the oxygen. It's very important that we have an oxygen dome here on the bottom and the bubbles are traveling upwards so that the filter never gets full with debris. It's basically the same system recreated all through yeah, the Yeah, all tanks are separate filters. It's safer this way. With separate filtrations, he minimized the risk of spreading diseases. We are producing our own electricity. You do have solar panels on the roof. Yeah. yeah. You see yeah. that uh, it's producing because it's, uh, the sun is shining right now. Here's the battery. It's already giving some juice to the plant here. Seems like in Germany, the yeah. people are really like conscious about the energy consumption. We want it uh, like this because it's better. Better for the environment yeah. and it makes more sense. We save actually money. Yeah. Right. Because we are using our own energy. That doesn't like, exist quite yet in America, especially for a private business at this scale. Ashtung Zucht B3. Attention, the breeding is going on here. This is going to be the new breeding room. Yes. You've extended this building. What's the plan? This will be a professional breeding room. Not everybody is allowed to come in. The traffic needs to be reduced. The fish are get scared. The breeding pairs, they won't breed that good. If you keep them for themselves, that's the best way. So that when people walk in over there, you're not disturbing yes, all these pairs. Is all yeah. These are the water containers. Yeah. Yeah. This is what's holding all the tap water that you guys yeah. aerate yeah. and also heat up. But tap water, you need to activate the water first. Simple treatments, just some oxygen and adjusting the temperature. That's it. Then the fish feel much better. We call it re-energize, making dead water to living water. Yeah. You're yeah, activating, we're activating the water. The water yeah. If you take it from a natural source like a, a river or something, it's already activated. But in the tap, it's not living. Lots of pressure inside of there. And this is flowing water. It's so simple, but yeah, it makes so much yeah, sense. Yeah, I try to explain it like this because more people understand it. Lots of our customers just pour the tap water inside. We have lots of customers. After water changes, the fish, they are stressed out. This shouldn't be. That when should you, be when you, they feel the most happy. Yeah, after water change, they should be re-energized. Ah, look at that. We got a discus poster. The next time I come back, I'm gonna know all my discus. That's a lot to memorize. I'm gonna need a cheat sheet. If people are interested in buying your discus, do you guys sell the discus on your website? EuropaDiscusCenter.com? Dot D-E. Dot D-E yeah. for Germany. You are technically allowed to walk into this building. They do it by appointment only. So I'm gonna leave the contact information down in my description below and they can ship anywhere in the world. If you can pay for it, they will ship you the discus that you want. You guys have been awesome. <laughs> we say uh, in our outros, remember to keep those nitrates low. So I don't know how you say that in German. How Haltet die Nitrate niedrig. <laughs> Prost. 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 Discus and beers. If you breed fish, you need to drink beer. Subscribe to the channel. Remember to keep those nitrates low. George, out.